Hi, we are celebrating spring. Spring is a time of flowers and renewal, rebirth. There's bunnies running around and pretty little tiny plants coming up, daffodils and crocus. And one of my favorite is tulips. Today we're going to be working on tulips. The way we use tulips is a lot of times they come in a pot in a store. They don't often come cut because they don't last very long. So they come up in the spring and then they die. But while they're dead, their bulbs stay underneath the ground. And then next year they come up again. So they celebrate spring every year. So tulips are one of my favorite because spring means summer's coming and you all know how much I love summer. Well, today's a day for tulips. And we're going to start with the letter U. The very bottom of a tulip is the letter U. And so we're going to, you can use a whisper pencil if you want so that you can eventually not see it. I'm going to go ahead and use a marker so that you can see it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put three letter U's in the place that you want your tulips to be, which would be sort of the middle of the paper. And it looks like this. See the letter U's? Now we're going to put lids on those U's by making them not straight across, but curvy like a mountain. So we're going to start at one end and go up and down to make it look like a mountain. And we're going to do that on each one of them because that's going to be the middle petal of our tulips. There we go. See how we did that? Okay, now the sides of the tulips are going to start from the bottom and they're going to go to the top, but not all the way to the top. So I'll show you one example and then show you the rest. Do you see how it started at the bottom? And it goes out and out and out and back in and it tucks in behind that petal, okay? Because we want the petals to look like they're not flat. We want them to look rounded. So that's how we do that. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Start at the bottom and go up and tuck it in there, just like that. Okay, another way you can do it is you start at the bottom and when you go up, you kind of make it a little flippy. It looks like a letter V, so that that petal looks like it's going to open some more. There you go, see the middle? And then the last one, we're gonna do that one kind of like the first one, and we'll make that look like it's still closed. There you go. So now we have the beginning of three tulips, okay? The next step we're going to do is put stems on them. Now tulip stems are very thick. They get lots of water through those stems because that's where the water comes from. It comes from the dirt and it goes up to the top of the tulips through the stems. So if a tulip doesn't have enough water, the stems get all wilty because the water's the thing that holds it up straight. Okay, so then you're going to put stems on and make those stems pretty thick. Okay, the next step is leaves. The tulip leaves, again, are very thick. They hold a lot of water and they're really quite big. So you're going to start at the very base of the tulip and go up, 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 like that. Can you see? And then you're going to come down and make it really fat at the bottom. Let's go this way. So we're going to go up, 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 and then curve in a little bit, and then go out a little bit and make it fat at the bottom. We're going to do that on all of the tulips. Every tulip usually has at least two leaves, and they're always very, very thick. This marker's running out of ink. That's okay. We'll finish. Okay. So now you have your whisper pencil tulips. The next thing you're going to do is get two colors that kind of go together. Now remember, if they don't go together, you end up with this muddy looking gray color. So you wanna make sure they match. Usually warm colors work well together or cool colors. And you know those colors because we've learned them before. So you wanna work with either oranges or pink and red, or now this is a, these are orange and yellow. Those are warm colors. And here's a set of cool colors, purples. And what you wanna do is get a light and a dark. So you're going to start with the light first and you're going to color the top of the, the petal that you want to be yellow. So you're going to color in just around the top, not the bottom, because we're going to make these petals two-tone. So see how the yellow is at the top? Just the top. 
Now I'm going to take the orange because orange is a little darker. And I'm going to do the bottom. Now, I left a little space in between the orange and the yellow because when you're all done, I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do. And that is take a Q-tip or a brush, whatever you prefer, and you're going to take that Q-tip and dip it in some water. So the Q-tip is wet. And then the Q-tip's going to go on the watercolor because the marker is water-based and see how it's gonna smear the color to make the tulip two-tone. So I used a Q-tip to do it. Yeah, it's hard when the paper's moving all around. How's that? That kind of shows you what to do. And you do that with each one of them. Now the one that I'm going to show you later, I did an orange and yellow, and I did a purple one, and I did a pink one. Now the, brand, the, tr the leaves and the stems, you take light green and do that first. The light green goes down the stem. Remember, when you use these markers, you can use them sideways. So if you use them sideways, you can go ahead and make a really thick stem, and you don't have to walk, you don't have to go over it twice. And then go ahead and outline wherever you put your leaves. And it doesn't have to be perfect, remember, because you are going to use water, and that's going to blend them. So then you're going to go ahead and, looks like that. See, I outlined everything. Now I'm going to go down the center a couple of times. But I'm not actually going to color them in. It's going to look like that. See all that white in there? Okay, now I'm going to take another green, a different shade of green. And I'm going to go sideways like I showed you before. I'm going to use it sideways because you want it to be a little bit thicker. And go in between but I'm not actually coloring it all in because when I use the water, that's gonna do that for me. So I'm gonna do that on every single leaf. And then I'm going to take my Q-tip, dip it in water, and then go ahead and blend those two greens together. And if I don't have enough green and I want it to be darker, as soon as it dries, I can always add some more. Now this isn't done because of the time. This one is done. So what I did on this one was I added some brown around the bottom and just stuck a pot on there. So you go ahead and work on your tulips and make sure you have fun. Maybe somebody from your home will do it with you and then you can have two beautiful tulip pictures. You have fun and I'll see you next week. Bye.